Commence primary ignition. Hey there, friends, fans, and collectors. Welcome to another episode of Binary Sunset Review. I am Mike, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Elite Squad Trooper. Now, this is part of the newest wave of Black Series figures that's hitting shelves now, and it's a promo figure for the new Bad Batch series that we're going to be seeing May 4th on Disney+. Plus. Let's get going! Before I begin, I wanted to remind everyone to hit the subscribe button below. That way you'll stay on the best Star Wars news and reviews as soon as I make them. Here we have the packaging for the Elite Squad Trooper. Now this trooper is showing off the new color scheme and the new side diorama for the Bad Batch figures. And that obviously is going to be promotional for the Bad Batch show. Now these figures, we only have three so far. We know Wrecker's coming, we know Echo's in that list, and we know Tech is also. So this is going to be at least like five or six figures long, but it depicts, it looks like, some base of some kind in the background. I'm not quite sure yet, but it does have the newest Black Series boxing that we've seen, and it does, the new color for Bad Batch is kind of this deep maroon, which is, it resembles the, the episode two coloring, but it's much, much deeper red. Now, when we pull the box in together, we can kind of see the other figures here. So we have Crosshair, Hunter, and the Elite Squad Trooper, which all kind of form next to each other. Moving on from the boxing, though, it's pretty, pretty standard, pretty awesome new boxing here. We have the Hasbro logo on the bottom, the name of the figure, the series he's from, which is the Bad Batch right there, the Black Series logo on the very top, and a beautiful window where we can see right through. Now, this window is recently up for debate. Uh, I know it's causing some people some some struggle. I I think it's actually be interesting thing to talk about, about removing the plastic in the middle. It, it always seems kind of unnecessary, and if we could get more of these hyper stylized images of the figure, I would really, really like that. Spinning on around to the back, we have some great flavor text that actually gives up a, a little bit of what the Bad Batch series might be leaning towards in terms of storyline. And that is, after the formation of the Galactic Empire, a small group of highly skilled enlisted recruits is tasked with neutralizing anti-imperial insurgents throughout the galaxy as a means to prove the effectiveness of conscripted soldiers. That's pretty, pretty, pretty cool background, pretty badass things. So he's going to be hunting like anti-imperial, he's going to be hunting rebel cells and I would assume clone defectors, which may be where our boys are kind of heading. First impressions out of the box are how intense this dark Katurn 2 armor looks. He really, really does look like a subject of the Empire and one of their meanest and baddest ones. Another thing that really is popping just right out of the box has to be the green lens on his all-black armor. Now, we've seen this armor many times before, but never in this shade. The painting and detailing of this figure, while not that intricate, is still very well done and unique to the other clone troopers that we've seen before. I believe the only other time we've seen Black Katurn 2 armor was in the Clone Shadow Troopers or the Utapa Shadow Troopers. And there are a couple different variations of that figure, but that tends to be black on gray armor also. Aside from being an elite squad trooper, he really doesn't come with that many accessories beyond the standard clone trooper DC-15 carbine. Now, I always appreciate adding extra arms to the arsenal for my 6-inch figures, and every figure's another opportunity to give us something new and great. We're going to talk some articulation here. Now, I was, I'm very pleased to report that this figure does sport many of the advancements that we've seen in articulation for Black Series figures from on into Phase 4. And what I'm talking about that is I mean an extra neck joint that really allows him to bob his head and walk like an Egyptian, as well as having some nice Shakira hips and, of course, the wrist joints. So, I mean, he can, he can make some gang signs, he can dance while doing it, and he's just looking all kinds of fabulous. Moving down on up from the feet, we have ankle joints, and they are on a little ball and swivel also, so they can go to the side pretty well too. And that is on both feet. We have butterfly joints in the knees, and they go around the knee armor as we see with most armored figures. 
Uh, you can see the joints a little bit exposed there, but it does add for extra articulation. We have thighs that not only spin out, but they also bend. So he does have the capability to sit down and take a knee pretty effectively. As I've said with the hips, we have some Shakira hips that not only rotate, but they also turn and allow him to really, really mold his body in some very, very great poses. Moving on up to the arms, we have elbow joints, butterfly elbow joints, we have wrist joints, we have only one trigger finger, unfortunately, so he's not an ambidextrous boy, but, you know, you can make some alterations to kind of customize that yourself. Arm articulation. Now, he does, as you can see, the pauldrons here are of a different, softer plastic, and it's an, it, that really does allow for some greater articulation for these figures, but you can get it caught in the armor and have it kind of like mold in a bad way. So it's important that when you're doing so the first time, kind of get, pull it up a little bit, get the pauldrons over the armor. And when you do so, you really are able to experience quite a range of articulation for these boys. Now hats off to the head articulation. It really adds to some of the inflection you can point for some of these figures, especially the ones who you can't see their faces for. So, you know, it adds a lot of more body language to them and their poses. Great to see all these articulation updates on these Phase 4 figures. It looks like this is kind of the norm moving out. Pros and cons for this figure have to start out with, like I said before, the minimal accessories and also accessibility. Now, there was only maybe one or two of these figures in the box, and it seems like most of the stores, which are seeing them early, so it's nice to see these figures on shelf but they're only getting about one box of these. So I hope that we see some restocks for these because availability is consistently a con for most of these Star Wars figures and collectors would love to see a change to that, me included. Be sure to hit the subscribe button below to stay on the forefront of the Mr. best Corsa. Star Wars news and reviews as soon as I make them. Thanks for watching another episode of Binary Sunset Review. I am Mike. As always, your likes and your views are greatly appreciated. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have these figures pre-ordered. Are you excited to get them? I hope that you have a really great time searching for these out there on the shelves. They are out there in the world, so be sure you're checking. I'm going to leave below a list of the SKU numbers so that that'll aid you on your hunt. It really helped me. Don't be discouraged. These figures are out there. Have a great day. Stay safe. Stay sane. And remember, the Force will be with you. Always. I'm just a simple man trying to make my way in the universe.